Hey everyone, so that was just uh, two drawings I did last year after Logan came out. I uh, watched the movie uh, March 5th, so it was uh, last year today that I went to see the movie with a friend and my brother and myself. We went to go see it in theaters. Um, yeah, those two drawings were, um, I did like later in March last year, so I did, I was working on those and I mean X-23 took a little while took a while because I'm not used to drawing uh, I guess kids in general and plus I wanted to try doing a real picture instead of trying to make it all cartoony type of way um, so that was pretty much it uh, <laughs> so anyways uh, the movie Logan I uh, this was a movie that you know I really really you know, I, I am glad it, it it existed. Like, I'm glad they made it rated R. Because, I mean, let's be honest, this is what Wolverine was meant to be. Um, I mean, like, even when the previews... And I remember watching the, the trailer for the first... The first trailer for this film. I, uh... I remember after watching it, I just knew, like... Um, something was gonna happen. Well... Spoilers. I mean, I know I knew Wolverine or Logan was going to die, but the question question was how was he? So, I mean, he was already an old man. You know, can't even heal. Can't heal prop. Well, can't heal properly. Can't do the things he used to do at a young age. So, and that's what came to mind. I was like, oh man, he's gonna. I just I just knew he was gonna die, but the thing was, how was he? So, and but I mean, either way, I still liked the film. I loved it and. I mean, I end up tearing up after the ending, and <sighs> but overall, I I, I loved it. I, I give this film like a nine or ten, maybe a ten, maybe ten out of ten, but maybe but most, but mostly for now, it's a nine out of ten. So this, I I love, yeah. So yeah, I already said I love this film, but yeah, so. Um, let's see, and then after that, we, like, later on, during a year, my sister and I went to Anime Expo, and we cosplayed as Wolverine and X-23, so we had fun doing that, and, and actually, just after watching the, the movie again in theaters with my little sister, we actually, we actually got more into lifting weights again, so, I'm lifting weights right now, currently, but I'm seeing some signs you know I'm seeing some progress I just gotta work on my eating habits or my diet it's the only thing that's stopping me from being like being all ripped and all that so uh, here I am just now just doing the just drawing all in pen so I could have done a sketching I've done a whole video of a sketch but you know it was so difficult because I had the camera in the way and I have to like put my arm in between the tripod legs and Start sketching it out here and there, and so I just thought, why not just show the first photo? Uh, so now that uh. I guess whatever I wanted to talk about the film was, you know, the part where, well, spoilers are ahead. If you haven't seen it, I'm surprised you haven't seen it already because, well, spoilers, but I'm just going to assume that you've seen the movie. So, X24, Jesus H. Christ, I swear to God, I thought when he first showed up and killed uh, Charles, I was like, why the, why, why the hell is this? Why did, like, did he get a hair, haircut or something and he got a big old beard? And when I realized, as soon as he puts his claw through uh, his claws through Xavier, I was like, "Oh shit!" And, and everybody gasped. I mean, I gasped. I was like, oh, "And I heard people in the background she kept gasping as well." I was like, "Oh my god!" And then when he left his claws out and X-23 attacked him, I was like, "Oh my god! This has to be a dream. Please tell me this is a dream. Please tell me this is a dream. This is a dream." And no, I was like, I was like, "Oh god damn it!" And there, you know, you see him kill the rest of the family at the farm, and and when Logan and sees uh, 
X24 walking down the stairs, I was like, oh shit, that's a clone. You know, I was I was like so like freaking well, I wouldn't say freak out, but I was like, oh my god, do you really went with this one? And just the uh, I don't know, just I mean just the look on Logan's face, you know, just to see his younger self just walk by him. I was like, oh crap. You know, the thing about X-24 is, I know people, some people would say it's like a symbolism, so you know, like, you can escape your past, or you can't try to hide your past, but you can't escape it and all that, it, you know, that has like a symbolism of that. You know, what I like about this villain, you know, although the, most of the villains were weak, but even though this villains were weak, there's something about X-24 that I like. I mean, this was like, to me, this whole time I thought, you know, this was Wolverine when he was in the Weapon X program when they when they uh, treated him as a weapon, they treated him like an animal, you know, things like that, and that's how I assume, you know, this is what the younger Wolverine was like in the Weapon X program. And so that's what I liked about this villain, you know, no, no sense of thought, no anything. This is like, this is what <laughs> Wolverine was back then. So, um, so you got that one scene. I did like the forest fight, especially the part where, where Logan injects all that serum into his neck and he goes all berserk. I was like, oh man, if only we had seen the part where he's all slaughtering all the soldiers in that one scene, he's running at them, coming at them. I was like, imagine we had that in the other solo Wolverine, solo Wolverine films, especially the second one. I mean, that fit the whole theme as well, because you got ninjas, you got all this in there, and that could have worked just fine, but... Actually, know the PG rating. PG-13, jeez. Uh... <laughs> oh, you know, actually, I don't know if I... Okay, correct me, I don't know if I said this, but... The part where X-24 is killing all those guys outside, in the, uh, outside the farmhouse, when the guy... When the old man says, what in the hell, and he gets his head cut off, I was like, oh shit, and then the guy said, oh shit, and I was like, <laughs> I kind of laughed, and I was like, wow. Um, the last part, when Richter uh, smashed X-24 with that big old truck, I was like, oh no, that's not going to stop him, and we see him coming, stabbing, drags Wolverine, um, drags Logan across the, across to, I guess there just happens to be a tree with a sharp logs sticking out of it and when X-23 or Lara got the handgun or, or she got the the revolver or, or something like that well she got the hand sidearm and she got the animantium bullet I was like I was panicking I was like save him save him save him save him save him and it was already too I was like oh god damn and I, I kind of just gasped right there as well just they were like oh no you know but hey, well, at least X23 shot him in the head, and you know, big old, big old gash through his head. I was like, oh shit. Um, the ending, I just started tearing up because you know this is Hugh Jackman's. I mean, even Patrick Stewart's Patrick Stewart's uh, time as well as Wolverine and Xavier. So. As is, so we come to an end, I guess. I don't know if we'll ever. I don't know. Maybe we'll see Hugh Jackman again as Wolverine, because all I heard was that as long as the well, since because he said he'll return if the X Men are gonna be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So maybe if that happens, well, of course Fox has been bought by Disney, so they have the rights to the Fantastic Four and X Men. So. Let's see if he, let's see if Hugh Jackman will make a return. Uh, so this will pretty much sum up the video now. So that's all I wanted to talk about. And um, so, anyways, so what I was gonna say was, uh, we we okay. I actually convinced my brother and our friend to stay after the thing stay after the film and so we actually I was actually a recorded secret ending so I was assuming there's a secret ending and we waited and we waited until the ending and nothing so there's 
nothing that happens and I was like oh that sucks and like wow I was like wow well I mean I guess it would make sense I mean you don't have a secret ending for Logan's although you could have showed the kids they actually make it to safety and they probably, probably could have met another few mutants that were in Canada so here we go and you'll see oh and by the way someone threw a popcorn when the guy says boo Damn it. <laughs> Shit.